costs. KPH 30Is versus the Porta Pros. So let me start off with an introduction. I wanted a headphone that I could use on the streets, on the go, wherever I went. I didn't really have to worry about it. Oh no, it's going to break. Oh no, I have to put it away. Oh no, any any precaution, you know, it's just a, a simple headphone that was practically throwaway, it was very affordable, but had very good sound quality and at least decent comfort. And at first, I was going to go with, oh, you know, everyone knows the Porta Pros. You know, Porta Pros, they've been around since 1984, they're a fantastic headphone, yay, they sound amazing for the money. Great, but then Cos comes out and says, Hey, we got the KPH 30Is also. We just released these. These are also good. So you know I had to buy both of them. I bought these both on mass drop. These were 38 free shipping. These were $20, $2 of shipping. So 22 in total. I said, you know what? $60 out of my wallet. Not going to hurt me. I'll keep one and I'll either sell the other one or, you know, give it to a friend or just keep it for myself as a backup for the backup for the backup. And that should be fine. And that's what I did. And here are both of them. I've been using this for about a been using these for about a month now. And it's been really tough choosing. It's been really tough choosing which I like better. Uh, not because they're very, very close in all categories, but because they beat one, one beats one in one category, then the other beats the other in the next category, and so on and so on, so it ends up being a stalemate, um, but not because they're balanced in all categories, right? All right, let's begin here. Build. KPH 30Is. These are built to look like a retro 80s to 90s headphone. Um, they're really nice. They have the blue for left, red for right, and they got the beige color, right? They also have hmm, a built-in mic. There you see it says COS, and it's one button remote. Works on Android perfectly fine. I haven't tested this on Apple because I don't own Apple products. Porta Pros. These are built with the metal headband. The uh, cups are smaller than the Cos KPH 30Is. The temples, uh, temple pads. These are temple pads. What the temple pads do is they add pressure to your temples to remove some of the pressure to your uh, ears. And uh, do they do it successfully? Decently. Decently. So-so. It's alright. Can't complain. The size of the cups on the KPH30Is are about the size of the average human ear. My ear is pretty much exactly the size of this. As a reference. Exactly the size. Whereas this one is about my ear. This is about two-thirds the size of my ear. Uh, you can see it there. Right. What does this mean? It means that this one covers the part where my glasses go behind my ear. Whereas this one can cover the bottom two thirds of my ear and not cover the glasses part at the, the top third of my ear. And that's pretty good. Now, let me explain my experience with comfort with both of these headphones. Immediately at first, the Porta Pros they always had like a slight amount of discomfort, like you know they're there, you know they're applying a bit of pressure, but it's not such a big deal, you can handle it, you, you don't get this, the, you know, the sudden urge to, ah, oh, I can't stand it anymore, the pain, it's unbearable, take it off. With the KPH 30Is, at first you put them on and you say, wow, these fit like a feather, wow. These are so amazing and comfortable, and then give it about 40 to 45 minutes, and you start feeling a lot of heat and a lot of pressure. You, you start feeling that, ouch, I really, really need to take these off. And that was something that kind of surprised me, because I, I honestly figured that these would be much more comfortable than the Porta Pros, but that wasn't the case. Uh, let's see... 
Continuing with the build, by the way, both of these have a reinforced uh, 3.5 millimeter jack so that it doesn't bend too much in your pocket and the wire doesn't fray as much as the old Porta Pros used to. Same thing with this one right there, except here it's black focus. And they say cos. They both have the uh, button remote, like I said. The, uh, the Porta Pros, as you might expect, actually fold up. They fold up into like a little ball like that. I can't do it with one hand, otherwise I'd show you. Uh, but just know it's it's a really simple mechanism. It's like a little lock, a little hinge when you fold it up. And they can fit into my cargo pocket real easy. Um, so they're both very nice, but kind of questionable when it comes to comfort. Um, when it comes to comfort, I actually prefer, prefer the Porta Pro X because... Although it's a droning, constant, you know, discomfort, it's not unbearable and it doesn't get much worse over time. It's just, just, just there. Whereas with the KPH-30Is, it's very nice at first, but then it becomes unbearable and you just have to take them off. Like, you, 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 there's no arguing with it. You have to take them off. Um, sound quality. The biggest reason you're probably here. That's probably the biggest reason that you want to have a decision for one of these. That is your decision. The Porta Pros. The Porta Pros are a very, very warm headphone. Uh, mids are a little recessed, just a little recessed. And the treble is very recessed. A lot of the details just gone. It's it's vanished. There's there's not a lot there. And keep in mind that I have an audiophile and I do prefer more of a neutral signature on any headphone I use. You know, for example, my uh, Venture Electronics Monks, you know, they were $6. And I'm not saying they have the best sound quality in the world, but they have a very good sound signature. It's, it's a very, very balanced, very... You know, nothing to complain about them, and I love them, you know. They're my fling around, bring it up and down with me wherever you go. They're just earbuds that were worth six bucks, you know, who cares? And they're so great. They sound great. Uh, so quite the opposite of these. And it's not that they don't sound great. They do sound very good. They do sound very refined. One of the better headphones I've heard within the 50 to $60, 60 range, more or less. Right. Um, I first started listening to these, the Porta Pros, and I said, "Oh man, um, that bass is a little too boomy for acoustic songs, for uh, a, lot of, a lot of other music. You know, for electronic, it was just fine. I had no complaints. But for yeah, a more open acoustic sound where you're supposed to kind of hear the space around you and you're supposed to analyze things, you know, critical listening and whatever, it's just not there. You know, it's just a little too boomy for my tastes. KPH 30Is come in and I listen to these and I say, wow, this sounds a little better than the Porta Pros actually. Um, in my experience, the treble was not so recessed. It was definitely there. Very, very pleasant treble, just like the Porta Pros. There was nothing peaky, nothing shrill about it, especially for a headphone at this price point. It was amazing. It, the sound quality was very impressive for $20. And I, I gotta say, as far as sound quality goes, KPH 30Is, I think, take it for me versus the Porta Pros. They're just so much clearer. They're just, you know. And I'm not saying that these are just, you know, lack of detail for miles and miles. That's not what I'm saying. They're very good. But these are better to my ears. I listen to all types of music. So sometimes big heavy bass is really nice. It's really good. But sometimes it just doesn't let you listen to music. Now, don't don't get me wrong. These aren't bass head bassy. They're not 
you know, horribly distortion and whatever, you know, there's no distortion for miles and going on and on and on. They're just, they're audiophile bassy, audiophile bassy, but not consumer grade bassy, which means they're still, they're still, they're still good. I can totally listen to these, but don't expect, uh, you know, don't expect a subwoofer next to your ear because that's not what these are. But they're pretty bassy. These, on the other hand, like I said, are more neutral. Uh, they're still quite bassy. They're still a warm headphone, but they're not as bassy as the Porta Pros. These are actually pretty, you know, they're, they're, they're more balanced. They're, they're something more agreeable for uh, the audiophile ear. And that's what really appealed to me with these. Uh, so yeah, as far as sound signature goes, KPH 30Is take the cake for me versus the Porta Pros. But now my decision came. I had to keep one of these and get rid of the other one because let's face it, you know, I take good care of my things and there's no way I'm ever going to need a backup. So decision time. What do I choose? Well, let me tell you. At first, I really thought I was going to pick the KPH 30Is. I thought, I mean, you know, better sound. You can deal with the comfort because you're not going to be wearing these for hours and hours on end. Yeah, you know what? I think these take the cake. But the uh, the biggest con for me here was when I took them out onto the streets. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, wow, these things just, they pop out, you know. Maybe this wouldn't have been so bad if they were the gray the charcoal available on Amazon for, yeah, $10 more, but, oof, not these, you know, beige, uh, I, I guess it's just not really my cup of tea for on the go. It's just not really, not really there. Porta Pros, on the other hand, these just blend in perfectly with your head, especially, you know, if you have a darker skin, you know, if you have darker hair, these things just blend in, especially with this color. Uh, so yeah, I chose the Porta Pros, especially because of the comfort as well, you know, because I wear glasses and I don't want to be limited in how much time I can wear these, you know, oh, I'm reaching the 45 minute mark, I gotta take these off. That's not what I wanted here. So yeah, my decision was the Porta Pros, but don't get me wrong, the KPH 30Is are a fantastic headphone and if you can get past the look when it's on your head, if you can get past uh, the fact that they pop out a lot, not necessarily from the sides, but I just mean in public, especially in this color. And, and a quick FYI, they're both open back, which means they leak a lot of sound, which are bad for public transportation. Do not take this in public. Uh, loud places, meaning, because sound will leak in, so you can't enjoy your music that well, you know, not as detailed. And your sound is going to leak out as well. So you can't use either of these in the library because they're going to kick you out. Uh, that said, they don't leak a whole lot either. You know, don't get me wrong, especially if you're listening at a relatively quieter volume because you like to keep aware of your surroundings, which is what I do. They're not such a big deal. You know, you might hear a little symbol here and there at worse that's a, that's what people will hear from you like a little symbol that's it but just do know that these leak a little more than these just a little more and um yeah so i chose the porta pros do i regret my decision <sighs> Man. sound quality wise yeah but i know for a fact that if i choose to keep these and i want to take them out in public because they are not my cup of tea in terms of looks and color, I'm always going to be self-conscious about people looking at me like, wow, who's this weirdo? I mean, don't get me wrong. I already pop out anyway, but you know what? I'd rather not pop out as much. So the Porta Pros are still an excellent headphone. And that's my final verdict. Yeah, so hold on. Hey, there you go.